You are now fucking with Hood Chart Radio. We trapping out the bandwidth, bitch. What's going on, people? This your boy Fort Knox. We are back in the building. It is the firing squad. It's going down, man. All kind of shots getting fired all over the place, man. This is like Beirut out here. Now I know y'all have heard about this one. If you ain't man, you must live down in the Middle Earth with the trolls and the people with the Lord of the Rings shit. Aisha Curry, man. Fine as she is, she got a bad little mouth on her. I tell you that right now. No disrespect, Steph. But your wife is a little crazy. You know what I mean? She thought because they was light skinned. Yeah, I told y'all. I told y'all. Y'all got to watch these light skinned people out here, man. They put on a good face for them white folks. Get that money. Get them sponsorship deals. But behind the scenes, they hood. What your boy Jay Z said. So they ran down the block and thought they sought them dudes to trust. I don't know what the fuck they thought. Them niggas is foul just like us. Aisha Curry, man, everybody saw the last game, you know, she went in on Twitter, man, and it's become a worldwide thing that everybody's talking about, but I'm going to try to give y'all some inside perspective, yeah, I know NBA cats too, you know, I know a lot of people, man, I know a lot of people that know a lot of people, let's put it like that, um, big shout out to my man Wally Dixon, main event, big shout out to all my, my street ballers out there, you know what I'm saying? Shane the dribbling machine up there in the BX, up there in NYC holding it down. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of people everywhere, man. We everywhere. Y'all ain't never there. But let's get to the story. So we all know the, the tidbit. I ain't got to give y'all the back and forth. Aisha Curry, after the game, you know, her husband Steph Curry, the two-time reigning MVP. In my, in my opinion, he should have been one-time MVP because I think LeBron should have got the MVP this year just for what he means to that team when you talk about most valuable but when you win 73 games hey he gonna get the MVP it, it just come with the territory Aisha Curry tweets out the NBA is rigged uh you know this is ridiculous I'm not gonna stay silent anymore blah 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 okay now the key phrase in that tweet was I'm not going to stay silent. Now, if anybody knows anything about the streets, if anybody's watched First 48, if anybody's watched anything, even just in the hood, gossip and rumors that go on, when somebody says, I'm not going to stay silent, stay silent about what? Now, we all know that I'm not going to say sports is rigged because these are professional athletes. I'm a former athlete myself. You know, once upon a time, I was nice. You know what I mean? If I hit the rap game, then, hey, hit them streets. But the point of what I'm saying to you is it takes thousands of hours to become a professional athlete. And that's the guy at the end of the bench. So imagine the reigning MVP. Yes, you have God-given talent, but it takes thousands of hours of work to become a professional athlete, to get somebody to pay you millions of dollars. And I have numerous friends who played in the NFL, who've been in the NBA. You feel me? And they can tell you firsthand the politics that goes on. It, it depends on what marketing team you're signed up with, what agency. It depends on, you know, the owner and what college you come out of and what their connections is, you know, with the coaching staffs and things like that. It's a lot of relationship, politics, politics. You know, slimy shit that goes on too. But it is a lot of hard work because you're only gonna, your body's only gonna be in that peak condition for these five to seven years. And then no human being can sustain that level of uh, excellence. But the point I'm making is by Aisha Curry, she went on a rant and she then she says, I'm not gonna be silent anymore. Now, afterwards, she, she took the tweet down, she apologized, but then she also started letting the cat out the bag about what's been going on, the racism with the police trying to get into the arena. I've been in plenty of arenas around all around the country, and I do know how security get. We was in Atlanta one time and the cop tried to get wild, and we had all access passes. You know, just because you black sometimes when you go in these arenas, man, these people be looking at you. You know, and then they see how you move and you pulling up in tour buses. Come on, that's how you should cover. They pulling up in the wraith. Pulled up in a Porsche. Pulled off in a wraith. You feel me? And uh, they don't like it. They don't like that you young, rich, and black. They don't like that. So they give you a hard time. They gave her father a hard time getting into the game. People have been tweeting wild shit at her daughter. She's three years old. Why y'all trolls tweeting shit at her daughter? Y'all taking shots. 
I'm about to start finding these tweets, man, and start and start putting them on blast because that's wrong. But what Aisha Curry don't understand, man, it's like the mob. You feel me? You took the oath, baby. You feel me? You think he gonna get them two? You then he got just unanimous MVP. Nobody has ever even Jordan and get unanimous MVP. That's ridiculous. What was the signal with that? That you was gonna be the new Jordan. You feel me? You smell me? We get you another ring. They could easily win three in a row. Okay, then LeBron finally get one for Cleveland. Then y'all go back to winning another two or three on, at the back end of your career. You the greatest of all time. And see, this this is where I'm trying to say to to the world that people don't understand. With great power comes great responsibility, but with great stardom, like Biggie said, more money, more problems, man. So now it was all good. They was at the top of the game, and 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 they still gonna be at the top of the game. Don't get me wrong, but now it makes it uncomfortable to do business relationships with you. He has a deal with Under Armour worth hundreds of millions. He has deals with every brand you could think of, man. I think he what he got uh. Power Aid or something. He has the water deal. Britta. He's selling water filters at this point. I mean, come on. So you got to watch your image. You can't be out here talking reckless, taking shots at the league. You don't smack massa unless you got your own plantation. You feel me? Nobody's bigger than the league. It's like that old Tom Cruise movie where they told him, we know you do your best to protect the firm. You smell me? Now, don't be surprised if six months from now, a year from now, one of her cousins gets locked up. Something happens with her uncle. Who knows? I'm not wishing no harm or putting no bad juju out there in the atmosphere. I'm just saying don't be surprised if something does happen down the line. Because these things, you look at Cat Williams and these people, it has a funny way of coming back to you sooner or later. But what we're going to focus on is why she felt it necessary to tweet that out. Now, Tom Brady's wife also did the same thing after the Super Bowl, but that was directed at a player. She didn't come at the league when they lost that Super Bowl and our uh, old boy, uh, Wes Welker, he dropped the ball. He's too little, man. Dude, that really Tom Brady overthrew that pass, but that's another video. But the point I'm making with y'all is nobody has ever taken shots. No significant player taking shots. They, they moms or wife or kids taking shots at the league. So, you know, y'all people got to understand, man, this is a dirty business. You feel what I'm saying? When you take shots at the league, they take shots back. And when they shoot, they shooting to kill, baby. So y'all better make sure y'all watch y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do a part two to this video, so stay tuned. I ain't want to overdo it. I ain't want to keep talking and rambling, telling every other story but the one you want to see. So if you want to hear what really is going on and watch this next video. This your boy Fort Knox. This is the firing squad. We get into the truth. Let's go.